dropped my camera and I think it might have just fixed my focusing problem. So I guess we'll see once I get this in post. But hello everyone, hello friends. I hope everyone is doing well. It has all come to this. Let us discuss. Our beloved Marvelous Miss Maisel has finally come to a close. And to be honest, I wasn't gonna make this video, but Erin, you asked for it, so I will give it to you. My thoughts on the last episode of Marvelous Miss Maisel. As much as I didn't appreciate season four and five as much as I did the first three seasons, I absolutely adore this last episode. It was everything that made Marvelous Miss Maisel Marvelous Miss Maisel. This episode was funny, suspenseful, and most of all satisfying. Let's go through some of my points about how I really loved this episode. And I think I have to say, this is the perfect ending for what we were given. I, I do love this episode and I love how they ended it. So let's just put ourselves in an echo chamber of why we love Marvelous Miss Maisel. Not that it's bad because, you know, we were only critical of it on the subreddit because we love it so much. Break it down now. Who was in charge of the camera work for this episode? Because the zooms into people's faces was... <laughs> This is so funny. It really helped lighten up the suspense when we were trying to get Midge on the show for her act. Speaking of zooms, the camera work in this episode was breathtaking. It was almost like they put the entire budget for the camera like people for this episode. Something about it, it was just so crisp and it felt like every shot, like every shot meant something and it was disgust. A magic. It was good to see Alfie in that last little bit. The whole episode, I was so nervous because I was just so desperate for Midge and Susie to have the break that they've been working for. And we got it. We got the bastard. Disgraceful. Do you like your pork chops? <laughs> I think it was free pork chops. I asked my family what they thought about the last episode of Marvelous Miss Maisel. My mom said she hated it because that meant it's ended. <laughs> Poor mommy. When Midge looked at Susie and the shine of the microphone was right there in front of them and they only had four minutes to make it work for something that they weren't supposed to be doing, I was just so ready for it. It really like called back to everything and it felt so right in that moment. And oh, my, my heart was pounding out of my chest. I was, ooh, that scene was, it was something all right. I was so ready for her to take that chance. I wanted it for her so bad. Like we've been with her for so long. In the end, Midge got what she wanted. She wanted that big light. She wasn't supposed to be a family woman. She wasn't supposed to be average. She was supposed to be Mrs. Maisel. I'm glad that they did the callback to see that it looks like her and Joel did live out the rest of their lives together as long as I think Joel had been around. Now this is a little Easter egg that I noticed so then I think I'll share it with everyone that really like brought actual tears to my eyes. So I'm a bit of a New Yorker, New Yorker light if you will. I lived there briefly. And the view outside of the 2005 apartment that you see Midge and her um, colleagues are sitting around and that view would have been from the San Rio Central Park apartment buildings, which means that it's probably the same apartment that Harry Drake had to give to one of his ex-wives. And just that callback, like, I was like, oh, I know, I know that view. I know that building. I know where she is. That's Harry Drake's old apartment. Oh, that Harry Drake scene when he passed away, that, that, that gave me, gave me some feelings. You never know what Midge and Susie broke up about though. Or did they tell us? We see them broken up and see them like love each other again, but we don't know why. I'm sure it was something stupid. When I had to leave New York because of COVID, there was a show that we watched that featured the show tune, I Happen to Like New York. And they featured this song in the last episode of Marvelous Miss Maisel. And I was in tears. <laughs> I, I, I adore this song. That was just like a personal thing, a personal choice that they made. And I was like, <laughs> because I also, happen to love New York. Seeing Lenny so low in the beginning of the episode was so hard and then going back to him being like you know well with Midge in current day was almost harder because we all know what happens to Lenny Bruce and that probably would have been the year that he would have passed away. I think he died in 66 and that was 65. Getting everyone including Imogene to the show was just so exciting and then how everyone kind of rallied to get Rose to the show and how like you know touched she was being like thank you for like you know inviting me here and getting everyone to call me because and then she knew that Midge really wanted her to be there and seeing Abe like come to understand that his daughter is a great person and him being her father really had nothing to do with the fact that she was so great because he was so detached from his daughter sim simply because she was a daughter but he come to recognize that his daughter is amazing marvelous in fact I'm so happy with the way things have ended Susie and Midge made it I named her whore ha! I'm going to miss it but I'm so glad it ended when it did because you know you, you can't have a good thing last forever die the hero or live long enough to become the villain. Oh. <laughs> All right, everyone, you have been an amazing audience. My name's Otter by Autumn. Thank you and good night. <laughs> All right.